Top minds from throughout the nation are meeting in Dunedin. About 170 science educators from schools and universities are networking and learning new methods of teaching at the conference. And co-convener Stephen Sexton says he's thrilled to have the event back in Dunedin after almost 20 years. The Otago Science Teacher Association said that we would be willing to host it and put in a bid to say we'll do it and we were actually successful in the bid and so now we were doing it for this, two, this cycle. About eight people spearheaded efforts to bring the biennial science conference back to Dunedin. Sexton says it's been exhausting work but they're happy to see it running so guests can sink their teeth into the different workshops on offer. Among today's best received talks was a presentation by science advisor Mike Stone which discussed science's role in improving literacy and numeracy. But it's ways to integrate that, ways you can bring more literacy into science, do critical literacy through science as an idea, as a way to actually promote science and literacy, but also to show how you can integrate different topics. Sexton says the conference will also benefit Dunedin's non-scientific community. Organisers are taking guests around the city to see the sites. That will be able to show the tourism side of New Zealand, but also what areas that science can be brought into those things. So we'll showcase those areas, but also on a today like today where it's stunning weather, um, so that it's not always bad here in Dunedin, it's actually quite a nice city. The conference finishes on Thursday, but Sexton says there's plenty of workshops before then, and speakers from the International Science Festival will also be involved. So delegates will take away new teaching techniques for the next generation of Kiwi scientists. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.